In this video, I want to show you how to evaluate the six trigonometric functions for the angle pi over 4. When we want to evaluate our six trigonometric functions, what I want to focus on is the sine, cosine, and tangent first. And we have this angle pi over 4, and what's important about that is we're evaluating the cosine of pi over 4 and the tangent of pi over 4. So to actually understand that, the, I think the first thing we need to understand is like where is this angle on the unit circle? But the first thing we need to understand is where is this angle on the unit circle? All right, so here's the unit circle, right? And hopefully you recognize that this is kind of like in four quadrants, right? First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Now, when we're dealing with pi over four, what that's basically doing is taking pi and breaking that up into four equal parts. So if we're gonna say like, here's our starting point, right? Which is gonna be at zero, because we always start like, whenever we're graphing an angle in standard form, we're always starting at the positive x axis or the x term of our axis. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate counterclockwise. Halfway around a circle is pi, right? And then all the way around the circle would be 2 pi. But again, we're talking about only one fourth of pi. So can I break up this pi into four equal parts? And yes, you can. And then you can say that, oh, okay, well, that is going to be my point. This would be pi over four. So this is going to be the coordinate point that, I, that I'm going to use to evaluate these. Now, again, when we're evaluating the sine, cosine, and the tangent, what we're doing is we're looking for the x and y um, coordinates that this point lies on on the unit circle. And one thing that I tell my students all the time is like you have to know the points on the first quadrant because once you know the points on the first quadrant, you can evaluate for any trigonometric function or any point on the unit circle. But you gotta know this first quadrant. So when this angle is at pi over four, so at this angle pi over four, I'm gonna have the coordinate point of square root of two over two, comma square root of two over two. Okay, so now it's really important to recognize that this is going to be my x coordinate and this is going to be my y coordinate. And now I can go ahead and evaluate my sine, cosine, and tangent. Why? Because the sine of an angle represents the y coordinate of that point on the unit circle. So if I say the sine of pi over four, that's gonna be a square root of two over two. The cosine of your angle is gonna represent the x coordinate of that point on the unit circle. So the cosine of pi over four is going to be a square root of two over two as well. And then the tangent, the tangent of an angle represents the y coordinate over the x coordinate of that coordinate point on the unit circle. So in this case, we have a square root of two over two divided by a square root of two over two, but rather than trying to think about the math, notice that they're exactly the same. So therefore anything divided by itself is going to be a one. Okay, so now let's go and get into our reciprocal identities. And the important thing with their reciprocal identities is they're very much related to sine, cosine, tangent, right? They're just the reciprocal of that. So if sine of an angle represents the y coordinate, cosecant of that angle represents one over y. And if you notice that sine and cosine are the same here, so therefore cosecant and secant, which is the reciprocal of cosine, are also gonna be the same. So rather than actually going through the math twice, I'm just gonna do the math once. How do we go ahead and simplify one over the square root of two over two? Well, what I like to do in this problem is I just like to multiply by the reciprocal on the top and bottom. I want to get rid of this square root of 2 over 2 on the bottom, so what we're going to do is multiply by the reciprocal. And now you can see whenever you multiply a fraction by its reciprocal, that's going to go to 1. And now I'm just going to be left with a 2 over the square root of 2. Now, if I want to further simplify that, I could rationalize the denominator. So therefore, I'll multiply by the square root of 2 over 2. And therefore, now I'll get a 2 square root of 2 over two, and now I can see that the twos are gonna divide out, so I'm just gonna get a final answer of the square root of two. So again, the cosecant of an angle is gonna be one over y. Well, the cosecant of pi over four is gonna be one over square root of two over two, which we just figured out is going to be a square root of two. And then the cool thing about this is secant, I know is gonna be exactly the same. And then also, same thing guys, cotangent is just the x over the y coordinate, well again, they're exactly the same, so that's also going to be a one. So this one wasn't too bad because my x and y coordinates were exactly the same, but what would it look like if they were not? Well, that's coming up in the next video.